Hi everyone and welcome to Spanish with Antonio. This video is part of the series Spanish for Beginners that I intend to create for this channel. And in this video, I'm going to give you 10 verbs that you absolutely must know if you start speaking or learning Spanish. And why? Because although they are very basic verbs in terms of meaning, they are so frequent to hear and to use in conversation. So keep watching this video if you want to learn this absolutely great 10 verbs that you will have to use for sure. But before going through these 10 verbs, just a quick reminder. You can find me on italki, which is an online platform where you can book a lesson with your favorite teacher and start learning a new language online. So if you want to give it a try and book a trial lesson with me, I will leave you the link to my teaching profile on italki in the description box down below. And now, without further introduction, let's start. So the first verb that I want to teach you is llamarse. Llamarse. I'm sure you know this one, but basically if you want to say my name is Antonio, you'd say me llamo Antonio. Now, the interesting thing and the difficult thing about this verb is that it is a reflexivo, reflexive verb. So you'd say yo me llamo, tú te llamas, él se llama, Nosotros nos llamamos, vosotros os llamáis, y ellos se llaman. So you need to learn kind of by heart this me, te, se, nos, os, se. The second verb that we're going to get through is vivir. So this means to live. For example, if you say I live in Málaga, in Spanish you would say vivo en Málaga or vivo en España. Next verb, tener. Tener means to have. So, for example, I've got two brothers, would be tengo dos hermanos. Be careful with this verb because it's very irregular. That happens usually with these very basic verbs for beginners because they are so frequently used that they tend to be very irregular. So, for instance, this one would be Tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tenéis, tiene. That's the whole conjugation of this verb. Next verb, the fourth one, hablar. Okay, so we've got another very useful verb, which is speak. So for instance, if you say, I speak German, in Spanish you would say, hablo alemán. And this is a regular verb, so don't worry about the conjugation, it's very easy. Yo hablo, tú hablas, él habla, nosotros hablamos, vosotros habláis, y ellos hablan. The fifth one, ir. So, okay, this one is very irregular too, and it means to go. So, for instance, if you say, I go to the cinema, voy al cine, the infinitive form, ir. And the conjugated form for the first person, yo voy, are completely different. They are not at all alike. So, let's get through the conjugation of this verb. Yo voy, tú vas, él va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, y ellos van. But I'm afraid to tell you that you will need to learn this verb by heart. And the same happens with many verbs I'm teaching you today. Sorry. Next one, estudiar. Estudiar is quite similar to English, it's study. But we say estudiar, that's the main difference when it comes to pronunciation. Okay, so again, we've got a regular, regular this time, verb. So it's very easy. Estudio derecho, it would be I study law, okay? And the conjugation would be yo estudio, tú estudias, él estudia, nosotros estudiamos, vosotros estudiáis, y ellos estudian. Next one, gustar. Okay, this one, it's kind of hard to translate into English maybe for you, because it's got a completely different structure, okay? Say, so, the English sentence, I like football, in Spanish would be me gusta el fútbol. 
so for now I just advise you to learn it by heart um, because as I said before the structure of the verb completely changes let's say that in Spanish we say something like sports are pleasant to us to me so actually the subject in this sentence me gusta el fútbol is not me but it's el fútbol so that changes the conjugation of the verb I will probably make a video about this verb because its structure applies to many other verbs that may be very useful for you as a beginner next one hacer so hacer means to do but it also means to make so for instance you would say hago un pastel so I make a cake in the sense that you cook it but then you would say also hago deporte so I do sports hacer is also sort of irregular so the first person would be yo hago then the second tu haces él hace nosotros hacemos vosotros hacéis y ellos hacen so the first person singular person it's quite irregular just try to remember it the ninth verb querer querer has got two different meanings in English too so we've got to want for instance um, I want a coffee quiero un café but it also means to love I love you in Spanish you know that it is te quiero so bear in mind that you've got two different meanings with this verb and last but not least tomar this translates very easily into English it is just to take so you can take the bus, tomar el autobús, or you can take a tea this time, pues tomar un té. And the conjugation is also very easy, it's completely regular. So you've got tomo, tomas, toma, tomamos, tomáis, and to. Well, so these are the 10 must know verbs that I wanted to teach you today. And now that you know the existence of this term verbs I'm sure you will notice that you hear it very frequently in conversation so that means that you also have to use them very frequently okay so yeah that's all I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it useful if so as usual just give this video a thumb up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you feel like it just leave a comment down below using one of the verbs that I taught you here today so I can see if you use them well or not. Well, that's all for today and I'll see you in my next video. Hasta luego!